The Chapdo Governor, Kalong Napad Nawan Jikmi, was appointed by the Dalai Lama as the chief plenipotentiary. The other four representatives were Kemi Sonam Wandu, Thubten Denda, Thubten Lagmon, and Samtan Zing Danda. <laughs> Both of the negotiating sides laid out their drafts. On all important issues, the two sides eventually resolved their differences. These included driving the imperial invasion forces out of Tibet, the entry of PLA for military defense, Tibet's racial and regional autonomy, the unchanged political system of Tibet, and the authority of the Dalai Lama and the Penchen Lama, and the guarantee of religious freedom. of the 17 agreements resolved many problems between the Chinese central government and the local Tibetan government. The status of Tibet became clear and stable. Ever eager to stir trouble in the People's Republic of China, the Truman government was concerned. Between March and August of 1951, the American ambassador to India, Henderson, sent at least three letters and even more messages to the Dalai Lama to persuade him to deny the 17 agreements, go into exile, and organize resistance movements. The American government offered financial support and even military aid. In case the letters would fall into the hands of others and embarrass the U.S., none of the letters was dated, addressed, or signed. Meanwhile, a British reporter was convinced that he had seen American military supplies shipped into Tibet. This temple, constructed on a little hill in the Yudang Valley, was the quarters for the Dalai Lama. It was also a place for meetings where the senior monks debated whether the Dalai Lama should go into exile or return to Lhasa. Most of the officials did not want to leave Tibet, nor did they believe in foreign aid. A senior monk even said, I have lived abroad. I know how hard it is when there is no one willing to help you. The American letters did not persuade the Dalai Lama. He decided to return to Lhasa and ordered Da Xiao Kang's son to greet the representative from the central government, Mr. Zhang Jingwu, at Fort Kalong. Mr. Zhang Jingwu was going to Yadong via India to meet the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Zai 